Hey everybody, Jared Duckett, Duckett Lad Dental CPAs and Advisors here with Paula Wall, dental consultant at the firm. Paula, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Friday afternoon dating this thing as always, but I'm excited, man. I love Friday afternoons. Um, can't leave till we get this done though. So jumping in, <laughs> quick video. Everybody likes our HHS provider relief fund videos. If you haven't seen any of them, go back, watch them. A lot of data here that Paula really <clears throat> sheds a lot of insight on, but Today, we're hitting specifically on, look to my screen, to an email. Emails a lot of our clients are getting regarding the HHS Provider Relief Fund period two is now open. The reporting period two is now open. Um, Paula, dive into that. What's that mean? Let's talk through that a bit. Okay, so basically, if you received HHS Provider Relief Funds in excess of $10,000 between July 1 and December 31 of 2020, um, you had to have used those funds for either eligible expenses or lost revenues by December 31 of 2021. And now here's this uh, reporting window, which you uh, probably have already registered for the reporting portal. Um, now that portal is opened up and you have between now and March 31st of 2022 to report on your use of those funds. And if, uh, if you don't do that reporting, you're out of compliance and you could potentially have to pay those funds back. Yeah. So important, important video to take note of here is if you did receive those funds, reporting is due by the end of March this year. So a little less than three months away, right? Exactly. Okay. So goodness, it feels like forever ago, doesn't it? July 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020. And it's, it's provider relief fund period two here. But if you guys remember for, for dentist, this is really the first batch of HHS provider relief fund money that you probably got. Um, and is it safe to say, Paula, that I would assume that if you got that money, you probably should have gotten an email on this to report, I would think. Yes, you should be in the system and, and they should be sending you emails about it. Yeah. So long story short, big takeaway from the video, I guess. Um, first off, see if you got this money. This probably rings a little bell and you probably got an email. So see if you got the money way back the latter six months, latter part, six months of 2020. If you did... A lot of our clients have already registered for the, for the portal, right? But if you haven't, you need to go register. Um, and then once you register for the portal, make note to start looking. And it, the, the email does a really great job of going through what you will need and that sort of thing. But start accumulating that data to get ready to report. And, and Paula, didn't you say, did you say next week? Again, I'm dating this, but next week there's, there's a webinar maybe on how to do this? Yes. Yes, they have um, on the uh, HRSA webpage, they have a link for technical assistance webinars for new reporters. Uh, the one that you're referring to, Jared, is January 12th at 4 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. So that might be something you want to uh, sign up for if you've not done this yet. Yeah, I might put a link to that here in the show notes here. You guys register for that webinar. Um, go through that. If you're our client, you have questions on this. Let us know, you know, there were, there were eligible expenses. Am I using the right terminology that you can use covered expenses? Maybe, maybe that's PPP talk, but you can use the, <laughs> you can use the money for, and you just long story short, you got it. You've got a report on it that you used it for the intended use by the end of March, 2022. All right. And this is just, the, this is the second round, right? This is going to be coming for three and four, if you got that money as well. But right now we're talking about number two. So um, anything else, Paula? Um, I think the, oh, the only other caveat that I would throw in there is like we've said on so many of these other programs, you can't double dip. Mm. So if it's something that you use for PPP forgiveness, maybe, or employer retention tax credit, maybe you got some sort of a state grant and, you know, use that for, had to report on it for like supplies or things can't double dip on this one either. So that's the one kind of caveat on your reporting expenses. Yeah, that's great. Don't forget. Yeah, double dip is big. Stupid joke. My middle child hates when we double dip on the nachos. So don't double dip. <laughs> um, it's Friday. We got to laugh a bit. All right. Paula, appreciate you. If you guys have questions, let us know. 
Have a great weekend and uh, we'll keep you guys posted any future updates on this. So Paula, we'll see you. Take care. Thanks, Jared.